Hi there, welcome back to our second part of learning about our church. And today we're going to talk about vestments and what they mean. You know, when you go to a wedding or a birthday party, or you go to the prom when you're in high school, um, you dress up in special clothes to, to show that there's a special thing that's going on, a special occasion. When you see a judge in the courtroom, he wears a black robe as a sign of his authority. And uh, we in the church um, take the clothes that were around Jesus's day and the priest wears them and the deacon wears them during mass and other liturgical celebrations to show the specialness of the occasion. And so today I'm going to show you some of those vestments and um, what they mean. The first thing I was, I'd like to show you is the alb. The alb is a white garment and it is to represent your baptismal gown when you were baptized as a little baby. This is um, a gown that all Christians can wear, but it's the first thing the priest wears as um, the sign of his baptism. And it is um, referenced in the book of Revelation that all the saints will have washed their robes in the blood of the Lamb to make them clean and white as snow. And so this alb is what we wear um, at all masses and some other liturgical celebrations. So it can come in many different styles. Sometimes they have strings attached to the neck. Sometimes they open and close like a coat. This one actually goes over your head and um, I'll show you how to put it on. It goes over your head and it has a zipper. You know, many times these albs are also decorated with things on the bottom, like liturgical things, uh, things of the church, different designs, different colors. And um, they usually are on the collar and the bottom of the alb. So this is the way it works. Now, if you wanted to, you can wear an alb every time you come to church because it is your baptismal garment. So you may wear that. Nobody really does, but um, this is a symbol of our being baptized. The next thing, and it come, they come in all different colors. Today I'm gonna to use a purple and gold one, is called a cincture. A cincture is started as something that was very practical. If the albs were too big or too small, you know, in the olden days, they only had one alb and they usually had whatever size. So this was to, you know, um, make sure the alb didn't drag on the floor. So it goes around your waist. It's like a belt, okay? What you do is you make a loop like this, put the cincture through like that, tighten it around your waist. If the alb is too long, you can cinch it up and then the cincture is then in place. The next thing that you wear, or the priest would wear, is a stole. Now a stole is like a um, police officer's badge. You know a badge shows the police officer's authority? Well this stole is a sign of the priest's authority. And it's usually the same, it's usually the same color as the vestment that you're wearing. And um, it goes over the neck like this. The deacons will wear it on one shoulder instead of like this because they only have the first degree of the office of holy orders. A priest has the second degree and the bishop has the third degree, the highest um, part of holy orders. So the stole goes like this and then to keep it in place, you take the cincture you cinch it again, you wrap it around, and then you pull it through so it fits nicely. The next and final thing that a priest will wear at mass is called a chasuble. A chasuble comes from a Latin word which means house. So when the priest puts this on, it's really to cover up the priest. Now, a priest by his ordination becomes another Jesus Christ, okay? He stands in the person of Jesus Christ, especially at Mass. So this particular vestment covers the human part of me, Father Corey, and 
it represents the fact that I am really no longer here, but Jesus, who is the altar at the Mass, he's the sacrifice, and he's the priest. So the vestments come in liturgical colors, or different colors, throughout the year. Um, we just had Laetare Sunday, and that vestment for Laetare Sunday is a rose color vestment, okay? which means it's halfway through Lent, and so we should rejoice and take a deep breath and say, we're almost at Easter. The purple that I have on is used for Advent and Lent. It's a sign of sorrow and repentance. It can also be used at funerals as a sign of sorrow. Then there is white, which stands for joy. It stands for um, feasts of our Lord Jesus of the Blessed Virgin Mary and of the saints. So we would wear white during, also during funerals. We can wear white at Christmas and the weeks after Christmas. Then we wear white at Easter and the weeks after Easter and any feast days that come along during the year. The next color we have is red and red is st stands for the Holy Spirit coming upon us. So we would wear that at Pentecost and all the Feast of Martyrs. Martyrs are those who gave their life for Christ. Then we have green, and green is used in ordinary time, because as you know, green is a sign of life. Plants are green, leaves are green. It shows hope and growth. So we wear that um, in the ordinary time of the year when there's no other feasts. There are also three other colors that people usually don't know about. There's gold, and we can wear gold for any important day, like Christmas and Easter. There's silver, and that is also used on the important days. And then finally, on um, there's also black, and black can be worn on All Souls Day, which is November 2nd, or funerals. There are a couple of other liturgical vestments that I'd like to talk to you about. It's the long black robe that priests wear. It's called a cassock. And that cassock is, has 33 buttons on it, which stand for each year that Jesus was alive here on earth. The cassock is like ordinary clothes for a priest. You can wear the collar, the black collar and the pants, or you can wear a cassock. The other garment that you might see is a white surplice that fits over the cassock and comes to the knees. That's a shorter alb. That's what that is. And then there's a cope. A cope is like a, a coat. It wraps around the priest and is fastened by some chains over here. And that cope is used for weddings or devotions or novenas, anything that's really outside of mass. It could be used also for baptisms. So that is the story of our vestments. And I hope today you've learned a little bit more about your faith. Thank you and God bless you.